Little Fox Thumbelina, Chapter 3 In the Swamp with the Burps Mrs. Burp lived in an old, smelly swamp. She took Thumbelina to a lily pad in a stream nearby. This is your new home, said the toad. I don't like it here, said Thumbelina. Well, too bad, said Mrs. Burp. You're not going anywhere. Mrs. Burp disappeared into the darkness. Thumbelina was scared. Water was all around her, and there was no way to escape. I miss my mother, she whispered, then cried herself to sleep. <laughs> The next morning, Mrs. Burp was up early. She woke up her son. Crokey, let's go meet your bride, she said excitedly. Be on your best behavior. Crokey blinked slowly. Okay, Mama. Thumbelina was just waking up. What a terrible dream, she said. Then she opened her eyes. The two toads were staring at her. Thumbelina stared back. Crokey was even bigger than his mother. It wasn't a dream, the tiny girl said sadly. This is Crokey, your future husband, Mrs. Burp said to her. She's pretty, Mama, Crokey said. Suddenly, his eyes moved. A small fly flew by. Crokey quickly stuck out a sticky tongue and ate the fly. Ugh! said Thumbelina. Now, get to know each other, said Mrs. Burp. I'll be getting ready for your wedding. She hopped away. Please take me home, begged Thumbelina. Crokey shook his head. Mama will be angry. And you don't want to make Mama angry. But I don't want to marry you, said Thumbelina. Crokey let out a loud burp. Oh. The sound made Thumbelina hate him more. I'll make a great husband. I can catch any kind of bug. He boasted. I'll show you. Just then, a beautiful butterfly flew by. Watch me! Crokey jumped into the water, splashing Thumbelina. He jumped from lily pad to lily pad, chasing the butterfly. Thumbelina had to do something. Crokey, she yelled loudly. Leave that butterfly alone, you big bully. Crokey stopped and burst into tears. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to tell Mama what you said. He yelled and hopped away. Thumbelina watched the butterfly fly away safely. I've got to escape too, she cried. Maybe we can help, a voice said. 
Who said that? Thumbelina looked around. She saw no one. Down here, said the voice. Thumbelina looked down at the water. She saw a school of fish. One of them was looking right at her. Croaky thinks it's fun to scare others," said the fish. "I can see that," said Thumbelina. "Don't worry," said the fish. "We'll help you escape."